All right, let's go over this. So let me blow this chart up. up. Really big opportunity this morning. I, I want to go over this uh, trend chart, and I want to go over the boxes, the trend boxes. So we'll go over um, the trend chart first. This chart is our uh, longer, uh, our longest Renko bar. It's a nine sim Renko. Remember, we have a trend filter built into our Renko bar. We don't use minute charts. We don't use um, a share charts or tick charts or range bars, all that other crazy, crazy stuff. These bar, these this Renko bar has a trend filter built into it. So when they close red, you know that you have more supply than demand. If they close green, you got more buyers than possible sellers. So what we want to do is we want to look at the overall trend of the market. So I have three moving averages on the trend chart. That lets me know if I'm bias up or bias down. The easy way to see it, moving averages are great for trend direction. They're terrible for support and resistance. But they're great when it crosses over there. My smaller MA crosses through my larger or intermediate MA. And once it gets below all three, you know, you know you're in a hard trend down. So we know we're in a downtrend right here, okay? So we want to look for sell retracements on my new trend box. And I'm going to show you how you can pick the exact bar to get in when the speed is actually coming in the market. To be a competent trader, actually to actually uh, uh, put successful trades on, on any market, you're going to have to have volatility. You're going to have to have speed. The worst nightmare of a trader is if you are just sideways. So we need to recognize when speed is coming in the market. And when we have speed coming in the market, Leo, that's going to let us know when we have the optimal time to enter position. So I'm going to show you the best setup in the room right now. The best setup is obviously we're in a downtrend. I have, I have this oscillator down here that lets me know when I get above 90% with trend, I'm looking for the largest possible move of the day. Okay, so every time it gets above 90, it's the largest possible day if it's with trend. So this is since midnight. All right, since midnight with trend, it's only got there once. It's trying to get up there twice right now as we speak. So we're looking for another setup as we speak. So let's take a look at the setup that just happened. That's my, that's my trend chart. That's a nine Simrinko. What we can do with my new trend box is this. With my new trend box, I can actually project, I can project the trend of my Rinko bar, my trend chart, I'm sorry, my nine Simrinko bar on a smaller time frame. See, this is a nine Rinko bar right here. Well, check this out over here. This bar is a, I mean, this bar type, uh, the Rico bar is a three. So it's way, way small, smaller than the nine. So we can run our entries off of a smaller time frame now with my trend box. So these two boxes that formed these green boxes right here, are green candles, I'm sorry. These green candles are the same green candles that formed right here this morning. It's retracing. So... What I can do with my trend box, I can put it as a 9 to look at this chart. It's reading this chart and projecting these boxes on a smaller time frame. How is that beneficial to you? It's very, very beneficial because what I can do now is I can look at the size of the boxes. The size of the boxes, since I have a trend filter built into my large trend chart and my smaller chart, my 3 Simrico, my entry chart, is reading this large time frame, I can look at the size of the boxes and tell if I'm in a consolidation phase, a possible high or low phase, or speed is coming in the market. Check this setup out. So now that I know when the first green bar closes here on this trend chart, I want to start stalking the trade. Just like right now, you can see these are closing green here. And now we're stalking a trade here on the green bars again. We're waiting for a red bar reversal. All right, and then we're going to stock us the speed bars to pop in the next trade as we're forming right now. So let's look at the, this trade here, and I'll look at the trade where de that's developing. So once that green bar prints, right, where, where the trend chart says, hey, I'm in a downtrend with the moving averages. There's my first green bar on the left chart. I'm above 90%. I'm in an optimal time to get short the market. Now let me go over to my entry chart. There is my green bar. Uh, green trend box. There's my green trend box. Obviously, we know symmetry dots are resistance. So we can time this trade by doing what? We want that bar to close red. We want that trend box to close red because we're looking to short. 
Once it closes red, if it's a big box, I know I got a possible turning point because the trend filler is built into the market. So now what I want to do is I want to look for small boxes. I want to look for small boxes because that is telling me speed's coming in the market. And check this out. I did a video on this yesterday. Look at these small boxes that come in. Small boxes are closing. What that indicates to me as a trader, it gives you a big heads up. They're trying to mark the market lower or speed's coming in the market. There's no underlying support with my trend filter. So it lets me know there's absolutely no underlying support when I get a thin bar. How's that effective to me as a trader? It lets me know that if I see thin boxes, we got speed developing after we had a retracement. And that's your best friend now because we know we're in the optimal point to take a short because we're in a full retracement on my large trend chart and it's projected on my small trend filter, I mean on my 3 sim over here, this box right here, that big giant box that formed, oops, right there, that big red box is this big red bar right here. That big red box is that red bar right there. That's that big red box. So that lets me know that big red box, I get a turning point. Now I'm at above 90% on my trend filter. I got a turning point, big red box. Then I got speed bars that follow. Check this out. Look at my speed bars. I got speed bars that are thin, thin, and it just broke symmetry dots. Put the symmetry dots on your 3SIM. All you traders should have your SIM dots on your own charts. If you lease the program, it's a $297 fee for life. We, we don't lease it. We just give it to you guys for life. Almost all my traders around the world that are with us have this symmetry dots and it works great with speed bars. Why? Because now I'm, this bar right there that closed below the body of the candle that closed below my symmetry dots, it's a speed bar because it's a thin bar. I've got no underlying support right now. No underlying support according to my trend boxes and their speed come the market. So what can I do? I can, for, I can look for the ultimate retracement, the first retracement on my time frame right here to get short the market. Because look, it got above 90% on my entry chart. It closed negative market delta right at the high of this bar, right to the exact bar high. Right there is your exact bar entry. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. I even have traders that's going right at the high, but I like two ticks above. There's your stop loss. Look at that entry this morning, and it would just prove to be a great entry. That's almost a $750 trade, $700 trade, I'm sorry, risking $111, $110, $111. Your stop should be right around 11 ticks on a 3 sim Rico. maybe even 9 to 10 if you get a, get a great entry. But typically, you get around an 11 tick live stop on that. So you had a 7 to 1 reward to risk, uh, 7 to 1 reward to risk setup. Why? Because of speed bars. Now, on the video, I was teaching, teaching traders this. If you see you're in a hard downtrend, you can even take the trade here. Watch. Show you a little what you can do. You can wait for the first retracement. That'd be if you're ultra conservative after the thin bars. Or if you close a body candle close, which we did here, right there at, whoops, right there at that close. You can open up the next bar, whatever bar, the bar back. You can go two ticks above the swing high, and you can enter for a momentum sell here if you're in a hard downtrend. It works great like that also. All right, so you can go short here at the open of the next bar, which is a little higher, 73 short, or you can come down here and go short at um, 63. So 73, right, right when she breaks symmetry, small stop, or you can wait for the full retracement to be conservative like we're doing right now. Okay, so, so that's what you guys want to do. You want to look for the trend chart. Like right now, it's setting up, right? We're, we're in the setup phase. We're in the setup phase right now. This is the next round of the retracements. So here's the beauty thing. Here's a, beauty, a beautiful part about the system now is these trend bar boxes are predicated off of this trend chart. Not only that, the information it's giving you, it's giving you, if you're in a consolidation phase, right into speed. Because I can know, I know now if I'm into speed. Here's another great short up here. Check this out. 
Look at my speed bars that broke symmetry up here. You got to be blind as a bat not to see that's a speed bar that broke symmetry. So what I want to do, and all traders know, since I've opened this trading room, I like break retest trades off of symmetry with trend. And this is just absolutely beautiful. I went, I went over this setup yesterday. Look how, there's your moving average cross. Look at the consolidation bar at the high indicating a possible top. Look how my small moving average crossed over on my small time frame. Look at the close below. Look at the close below. Oops. Look at the close below. You guys are going to love the setup, man. It happens every day like this in the markets with the trend box. It's awesome. All right. So there's a close below. There's my two green bars that retest the symmetry. There's your entry on the retracement. If you want to be, here's another one. Here's another one. Actually, retracement worked beautiful. Look how I broke symmetry dots. Got a green bar, retested. Actually, I got a full retracement below here also. Check this out. My point is this. On both of these setups, on all three of these shorts this morning, and we're working on a fourth one now. On all those setups, what do you see? Thin box, broke symmetry. See the big, thick box at the high, the session high. Look at the session high. Big, thick red box indicating reversal. And what happens is if you're in between symmetry, and I went over this video yesterday, if you are in between symmetry dots, red and, 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 and blue, and you're going back and forth, it's consolidation. Wait for that speed box to close, Leo, and there's your trade. You got to get in there because that is your most optimal time at these levels when the speed box is indicating we have movement in the market. Look at the speed box on both of these. When they broke symmetry, there's the same exact setup, same exact look. Look how it called the consolidation continuation. Major top. There's your speed box to get in. First retracement. All right?